Hey guys, welcome back to the Drifter Journey channel. We've got an exciting product review video for you today. We are going to review the Camp Lux Nano 3, 3 Pro, Pro <laughs> shower. It is basically a very small instant hot water heater. And so we've got it hooked up to some propane. A one pound green can. And you wanna tell them what you're working on? Yeah, so I hooked the red, which would be the hot, up to the red on the thing. Blue to blue, which would be cold, which is inlet or the pump. And then we have pump plug here, and then we have a 12 volt plug here. And we're running off of this right now because we don't have it charged up. And then you have an on off button, a temperature control, and then pump on off. And then it says your inlet temp and your outlet temp. And I know that that's cold water because I just pulled it from the river. So it's reading lower. Yeah, so if you guys are seeing it flicker on the screen, it's just because it's an LED display. But it's showing our inlet at 64 and our out at 90. It'll probably be able to raise the temperature, I'm guessing, around 40 degrees. So I'm just going to recirculate it in the uh, little uh, water basin that I got. <laughs> and then uh, get it warmed up enough that it can be warm enough for me to shower. Yeah. Um, if you had warmer water going in, other than pulling it out of a snow melt <laughs> stream, you would be able to shower right away. But I'm gonna give it a couple minutes circulating and then we'll uh, take a shower. But while we're doing that, we can show you yeah. different nozzles. So you got mix centered, Jet. So. When you turn it off at the head, it turns off the front. Mm, yeah, you hit the switch off there. So turns off the. Turn off. Turns everything off. Turns the flame off. Turn it back on. It'll reignite. Seems like a pretty quick ignition. Yeah. That's great. So we'll just get this water preheated, and then uh, take a shower. Soap. <laughs> All right, there's your shower head. I said after two minutes it won't be on anymore. Uh, on the still? battery is still flashing. Yeah, so I need to turn the power it on. Button again. Okay. It's Pump. on. Pump. Pump is on. And then turn down the heat so that it's not melting me. Okay. One thirteen. Yeah, let's go for like one oh eight. 109, 108, Hot. It got hot for a second, but it's okay. 102, you want it hotter? You can turn it up just a little bit, yeah. How's our water situation? Oh, you got plenty. Yeah, I'm wondering, are you going to be able water. to use it? Yeah, I think so. We didn't go through half yet? No. How's the water pressure? Good. What, uh, what nozzle setting you got it on? I have it on the, uh, I think, I don't know, jet maybe? <laughs> That's good. You got more than half the water still? No. No? So you might have to go get some more? Yeah. Okay, how can do that? Yeah. I might as well just rinse it then. Nice and clean.
All right, now it is my turn. Greg already went and got another bucket worth of water from the river. Thank you. And we already recirculated it so that it is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, that feels fine. It's a little nine inch. Is that okay there still? Yeah. It does have a lot of water pressure. Yeah. Is that too hot yet? Yeah, that's a little hot. What's it at? It's at 113. 113, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. Okay. And I'm wet enough. The soap's falling apart. Which one? It's making it quite difficult. The bar that uh, I use for my hair. You could turn it up a little, please. All right guys, so we are nice and refreshed. It's a nice little camp shower. Definitely one of the smaller footprints that we've had before. Um, if you've been following us for a while, you know that we have tried out many a camp shower. This one, the heater fires up right away, keeps the water hot, and it has good water pressure. So if you're looking for a nice portable camp shower, maybe check this one out.